Portland banned it, but it is available across the river. The internet car service called Uber just launched in Vancouver. Fox 12's Brian McMillan is here to explain what it is and why the city is concerned it may be illegal. Brian? Yeah, Amy, Uber is an app and you can download it to your phone. It allows you to request a car to take you to your destination. It's kind of like a taxi service, but these are private vehicles picking up customers. Now, Uber has been trying to break into the Portland market since late last year, but Rose City leaders have stopped the service, saying it violates a long-standing city code meant to help taxis. Two weeks ago, the service popped up in Vancouver. City officials only learned that Uber was up and running after they were notified by a taxi company. Vancouver is now looking at municipal codes to determine whether Uber is operating illegally. City regulars say none of the drivers working with Uber are licensed with the city. They also don't know where the drivers are based and whether their cars meet city requirements. Uber told us via email today that it looks forward to working with Vancouver, like the company did in Seattle, to adopt a common sense approach that embraces ride sharing in the city. Now, months ago, Uber started a social media campaign to put pressure on Portland leaders to allow Uber into the Rose City using the hashtag. Uh, we want Uber PDX, and as you can see, it has quite a, a bit of support here. Uh, this one directly to the mayor of Portland, hashtag we want Uber PDX. Here's one. People have been posting pictures as well. This is what the Uber app, uh, Uber app map looks like in Portland. No cars. That makes us sad. Here's another one with a few beers in the picture. A drink with good friends. Really wish we had Uber to get us home with the hashtag we want Uber PDX. And finally, this one posted by Uber just yesterday. Fact, Portland is the largest major U.S. city where you can't tap that Uber app. Why? Call at Mayor PDX and ask. Reported live in the studio, Brian McMillan, the 5 o'clock news.